Hello, my dear fellow readers. Today I would like to do a short and spooky October TBR. The reason why I'm coming at you so late with my October TBR is the fact that at the beginning of the month I moved to college, so I had to settle in my new room and apartment, and also courses at university started, so I had to figure out my schedule and, you know, plan out my weeks for the rest of the semester, and so that took away more time than I was expecting, but here I am sharing with you the books that I'll be reading in the second half of the month that are all Halloween themed. For starters, I plan on reading two classics that I've been wanting to read for years and every year in October I say that I'll be reading them and it hasn't happened yet, which is so shameful. I'm embarrassed that I still haven't read these classics because I really should have by now. The first one is Dracula by Bram Stoker. I'll be honest, I thought that this book was going to be way shorter than what it is because this is more than 400 pages long. So considering how slow a reader I am, this is gonna take me some time, which kind of scares me a little bit. But anyway, I cannot wait to read it. I am excited and I absolutely adore this edition, this is the Rock Paper Books edition. They have redesigned the covers of a bunch of classics, I will leave the link to their website in the description down below. And the other classic that I'll be reading is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I still haven't gotten this but it's coming in the mail at the beginning of next week and I'm so excited for it. This is another one that I should have read by now and I still haven't, which is not good, not good at all but I cannot wait. This is the Deluxe Penguin Edition and I have another Deluxe Penguin Edition to show you. It is We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson and I'm so pumped to finally read this book because so far I haven't heard one single negative thing or review about this book or about Shirley Jackson in general. I am looking forward to find out what there is so much to love about Shirley Jackson and I'm pretty sure, judging from this cover, that it's going to give me nightmares because I'm such a baby when it comes to horror and ghost stories and the likes, but we'll see. Next, I have The Turn of the Screw by Henry James. This is actually a bind-up because there's Daisy Miller as well, which I guess it's another novella written by this author, but for this month I'll focus only on The Turn of the Screw, which is about a governess who is sent to care for two young children, Miles and Flora, on a remote country estate. Soon she begins to see two sinister figures around their home whose presence will have fatal consequences. Interesting to see what these consequences will be and once again, I'm scared. Oh my god I'm thinking that I'll have to keep my light on while reading these books Yeah, and last book that I have planned to read in these two weeks, which let's be honest I'm not sure I'll get to all these books even though I really want to anyway The book is Lois the Witch by Elizabeth Gaskell. I randomly found out about the existence of this book while scrolling on Amazon through you know the on sale outlet section and I saw that my local library had this book and so I was like yeah I'll just borrow it from there and see if I like it or not and this book is about a girl who becomes an orphan and she is sent to some relatives that she has in America in asylum in the 16th century so this is witches all the way and I just, I cannot wait. I haven't read a witch story in so long. I can't even remember when was the last time that I read a book that had witches in it. So I'm so excited to read this. It's very short, it's like 100 pages or so. And so I think I'll be able to read this fairly quickly. Now, I do have a couple of graphic novels that I would like to get to this month, but I'm not gonna show them to you because honestly, all of these books in two weeks, considering how slow a reader I am, it's basically mission impossible. So I don't wanna put any more pressure on myself than what there already is. 
but if I do get to those graphic novels, you guys will be the first ones to know because I'll be talking about them in my October wrap-up as well as all the other books that I'll manage to read in the following weeks. Now, the only thing that's left is the audiobook because every morning when I go running, I listen to an audiobook and I have just finished The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman which I didn't like all that much. And now I have to choose another audiobook and I still don't know which one to choose. I still want to listen to a story that is somehow related to Halloween or that, you know, sets that kind of creepy, spooky mood. Especially because in the mornings when I go running, it's still dark outside. I don't know what audiobook I should listen to. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments because I literally have no idea which one will be the next audiobook that I'll be listening to. So this is it for this video. Please let me know in the comments if you have read any of these books, if you have a spooky Halloween TBR planned out for the month of October or for what's left of it and I'll see you guys soon in another video. Warm hugs!